Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the most common cause of anemia, the iron deficiency anemia. It is mostly caused by bleeding, especially in the GI tract, and this can be very minute and the patient wouldn't even notice it. So if somebody had a small fissure somewhere in their intestine that is not healed, it will continue to slowly bleed and cause iron deficiency anemia. Other causes are menorrhagia, which is basically heavy menstruation, malnutrition, absorption disorders, and pregnancy. We expect the patient to have fatigue, understandably, because their blood doesn't transport a lot of oxygen. Conjectival pallor, again, due to decrease RBC's number. Spooning of the nails. And sometimes pica, which is the strong urge to consume non-food products. Most commonly craving for ice. The erythrocytes, the RBCs themselves, will be fewer in number, smaller in size, and paler. We call this microcytic hypochromic anemia. Lab-wise, we will have decreased iron, of course, with decreased ferritin, and increased total iron binding capacity. TIBC measures transference affinity to iron. Transferrin is basically in the blood to transform iron from one location to another. And if we have low iron in the blood, transferrin will have high affinity, looking for any iron that we have here or there. So of course TIBC will be higher in patients with iron deficiency anemia. For the exam, there's a syndrome that they always like to ask about, which is the plummer vincent syndrome, which is also called peterson kelly syndrome. These patients will have three symptoms, iron deficiency, esophageal webs, and dysphagia. We treat them as we treat any patient with iron deficiency anemia. The treatment for iron deficiency anemia is of course iron supplements, and sometimes we use vitamin C as it helps with the absorption of iron. But before we start any medical treatment, we have to treat the cause. So if we know that the patient has a bleeding in their intestine somewhere, as evident of fecal occult blood, or for example if a patient is malnourished, we should treat the cause before we treat the patient for anemia. And here's a small quiz. What is the medical name for spooning of nails? And here is the answer. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.